Hello and welcome to this video. In this project, I'm going to demonstrate to you this simple LED on off which is done using the Raspberry Pi 400. So as you can see here, this is the Raspberry Pi 400 and over here I have attached a extension cable so that I don't have to keep flipping my Raspberry Pi keyboard up and down every time I make a connection. So this is the physical connection and over here the pins are as follows the bottom left pin will be pin number 1 and the top right pin will be pin 40, 40 and then if you were to look at your Raspberry Pi book this is the book which you get when you buy your Raspberry Pi 400 and you download it from the internet or you download it from the internet so the cover of the book is like this this one you can download for free um, the latest one is I think uh, 3rd edition no nope, this is not the latest the latest will be the 4th edition if not mistaken so you can go and download the latest copy from Raspberry Pi uh, website so if you don't have the book you just head over to Raspberry Pi search for Raspberry Pi and then go to the Raspberry Pi organization and then here click on books and over here you can go down and look for the the uh, books itself go to the book section this one and click on Raspberry Pi books and then here this is the one you want, Raspberry Pi Beginner Guide 4th Edition. As at time of recording, it's the latest one, November 2020. Click on the free download. And then here, just scroll down and then click on the link to go straight to the PDF. and just wait for it to begin download if it doesn't automatically begin just click on here to start the download process and the download has begun it's 34.3 megabytes rough approximately after the download has completed just head over to to your downloads folder and then you can cut it and put it in your bookshelf right click and paste it here so now you have the latest version so you can close this third edition and right click and open the latest edition fourth edition right click PDF viewer and this is fourth edition so head over to the chapter on physical Pi project which is page 120. So over here you can see the uh, description of the GPIO pins from the back of the Raspberry Pi 400. Pin 1 is top left corner and pin 40 is bottom right corner. So over here that's what I just described to you. Um, pin 1 is bottom left this one is pin 1 bottom left corner this one here and pin 40 pin 40 is the top right corner 
so pin 1 is here pin 40 is top right ok, pin 1 and pin 40 right, so now we can follow the instructions here just scroll down you need to have a register a register you can use any value so, and then uh, you need to you need some cables female to female female to female and female to female so three female to female cables one LED and then here the connection is as follows pin 1 is connect is actually 3.3 .3 volt source so when you look down at the my connection here you will see the pin 1 this is pin sorry I think I got the wrong diagram it should be this one so this one my my shorter leg of the LED this is the diagram sorry the shorter leg of the LED is connected to pin the third pin on the right right column so if you look at this here this way like this the third pin on the right column is referring to this this one this is the third pin in the right column and it is connected to the shorter leg of your LED so your shorter leg of your LED is the anode uh, is a cathode sorry the negative and then the longer leg of the LED is connected to the longer leg of the LED is uh, the longer leg of the LED is known as the anode is a positive side is connected to the register so coming back to this this is the longer leg of the LED I'm using the green wire here it is connected it is connected to the LED as you can see it's connected to the LED right so the legs have come off a bit so let me just adjust it back <clears throat> right, so this is the longer leg the longer leg of the LED goes to the resistor The other end of the register goes to the ground. Ground. The ground is pin number eleven on the right column. Pin number eleven. If you count from the top, from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pin eleven. This one on the right column. So if you align up this together along with the diagram in the book it looks like this let me try to bring this up so you can see it looks like this so right and then you compare it with the book it is like this right pin so you can see here, um, this one is ground, ground connects to the LED and then the other end of the LED goes to the resistor and connects to GP, uh, GP25, GPIO25 over here. So that's what, uh, what we are doing here. Alright, so... <coughs> let's fix it back this thing is a bit loose now note that I'm using a female to female uh, cable yeah female to female cable have holes on both ends of, of the cable and then I'm connecting everything using female to female cable that way I can avoid using a breadboard for this first project Okay, so it can be a bit loose 
so just reinsert if it keeps coming off Now the next thing you do is to open up your uh, Ton Tony Python IDE. Which is found from here, Tony Python Programming and then select Tony Python. This one. So when you click Tony Python, it will open up um, your IDE Tony Python. And then just key in this uh, source code this source code is also from the book itself if you scroll down here this is the code from the book itself so just key in all that in here and save it save it okay i already uh, okay save it like this click save The location to save it is your document. Let me try to show that to you. <coughs> I've already saved it, so it doesn't allow me to, to change the location. But <coughs> okay, save it to this location. Let's say I create a new folder. If I wanted to save it, I will save like this. Save and then go to your documents create a new folder called python projects you can create a new folder by clicking on this icon here on the top right hand corner so you create a new this, this icon it will ask you to enter a new folder name and give it a name so I've given a name python projects and then you can open it and then here give it a name for your project so I call it 02 LED on off and then the default extension is BY because of the file type mentioned here and then just click OK that's all and then you will save alright so that's how you save your Python project so now let me explain the source code this GPIO is a library needed for interfacing with the GPIO pins on your Raspberry, Raspberry Pi and from the GPIO library, you're importing the LED class. So the LED class is used to specify to create an object out of the pins. So in this case here, yeah, you are going to attach an LED to GPIO pin 25. That's why you specify 25 in the constructor here. And then after you instantiate a new object uh, on the GPIO pin 25 of type LED, you will save it to a variable the variable name is LED as well but you can call it anything you want this is just a variable name but this LED is a class name so you can change this here to specify the name spelling exactly because that's what you are using uh, library uh, class imported from the GPIO library and then you also import from this time library the sleep function after that you create an infinite loop using this while true so while true will create an infinite loop and when this is running it will loop infinitely uh, go in an infinite loop the first instruction will turn LED on in this case LED is attached to GPIO25 and then it will wait for one second so I'm going to change this to say one second that means it will stay light it for one second and then next line will turn off the LED and then you wait for one second and then it goes back up and start all over again LED on one second LED off one second so let's run it now so to run it just click this uh, button here to run 
and you will see the LED on off one second on and one second off so if you wanted the LED to stay on for longer so all you need to do is modify your code here maybe you want it to stay on for uh, 3 seconds and stay off for 1 second so be before this new change can take effect you need to stop the code click on the stop here and then click run again and now you see the LED will stay on for 3 seconds off for 1 second 3 seconds on 1 second off like that so this is how you control if you wanted the LED to stay on for a split second maybe 0 0.1 second you can specify it here so if you specify the slip for 0 0.1 that means the LED be on for 0 0.1 second and then off for 1 second and then loop alright so click stop now and then click run again to load the new program and, and then here you see now it's on for 0 0.1 second and stays off for 1 second alright so this is your first project so go and try it and have a good time so i'll see you in the next uh, project thank you for watching